Lots of folks have lots of questions about cancer. What is true and what is not? I'm going to be answering three questions that many of you have told me you have about cancer. Uh, number one is eating sugar. Uh, does eating sugar rather make cancer worse? We're going to answer that question. Uh, number two, uh, do antiperspirants or deodorants cause breast cancer? And number three, um, which herbal products or do herbal products uh, cure cancer? Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. It's good to see you. Let's jump in. And by the way, I'm going to go a little bit out of order. Let's start with the antiperspirant one because this is one that always comes up whenever I talk about deodorants, antiperspirants, things like that for sweating. People, you all actually say, well, hey, doesn't deodorants and antiperspirants um, cause cancer? In particular, many people have asked about breast cancer. Um, you're probably wondering, okay, well, where did this come from? what's going on now so there's a there's a there's a lot of information behind here i'm just giving you like the fifty thousand foot overview okay um but first of all we have to remember when we apply deodorant or antiperspirants it's it's in the armpit right it tends to be relatively close to the breast and that's probably one of the things that has contributed to questions or contributed to questions about this over the years but the other things is some of the substances that are in uh, antiperspirants and deodorants uh for example uh aluminum so many deodorants uh, antiperspirants have aluminum aluminum in them. Some research actually suggests that um, aluminum uh, can sort of have hormonal effects, so like uh, estrogen-like effects on the body. Um, that is one reason um, that people have questioned whether deodorants and antiperspirants can contribute to breast cancer. Um, one of the other things is parabens. These are ingredients uh, of preservatives that are often found in deodorants and antiperspirants. Um, and parabens can, you know, behave or rather mimic the activity of estrogen. Um, again, the 50,000 foot overview here, but these are just a few sort of reasons here and there why people have wondered and asked if antiperspirants deodorants could cause breast cancer. There are other reasons as well. Uh, I'm not mentioning them all. Okay, well, so what's the answer you guys are asking? Well, um, by the way, my um, my research and the um, answers I'm giving you is according to cancer.gov, the National Cancer Institute, okay? So you can go to their website, take a look at the explanations, take a look at everything I'm talking about. That's where the answers are coming from. They say that the best studies that we have to date do not suggest an association between uh, deodorant and antiperspirants and breast cancer, okay? Once again, the best studies that we have to date do not show an association. Now, there have been some studies, um, not necessarily good studies done, that have said, hey, maybe there is a connection, okay? Um, but again, the best studies that we have do not show an association. Um, you know, with these things, first of all, I wear antiperspirant deodorant, have for years. I, I do not have uh, particular concerns about this. I should make sort of a disclaimer, though, that um, in, as years go on, you know, sometimes we learn things that we didn't know. But right now, the evidence does not suggest there is a connection by the best evidence we have. All right, moving on. Question number two. Will eating sugar make cancer worse? And you're probably saying, why would someone ask that? Or maybe you know why people ask that. Um, well, first of all, there is some connection potentially between uh, sugar and cancer, but perhaps not the connection that people think. All right, well, so let me just explain, all right? Uh, again, according to uh, cancer.gov, so we know that cancer cells consume more sugar than normal cells. If you didn't know that, you do now. Interesting, right? Um, but no studies have shown that, say, eating sugar makes cancer worse or that by stopping sugar, you're going to eliminate your cancer or cure your cancer, okay? So just because cancer cells consume more sugar than normal cells does not mean that there's a direct link to that and say the sugar that we consume and that link has not been established, okay? So um, no, now one thing cancer.org does mention, and I'm glad that they've mentioned this, is we do know that eating sugar in excess can lead to obesity, and by the way, obesity is a risk factor for many cancers, okay? Not the same question people were asking, does eating sugar make cancer worse? Does eating sugar cause cancer? But maybe in an indirect way, eating sugar, which causes obesity, can um, increase our risk for many different cancers. Um, but yeah, no, eating sugar does not make it worse, uh, directly does not... Um, uh, not eating it does not make cancer go away or cure it. Okay. Um, the last question, okay, that we're going to, we're, I'm going to do more videos on, on qu cancer questions because there are a lot of cancer questions that are running out there on the Google Schmoogler. All right. Herbal products, which herbal products, supplements cure cancer, um, and slash do herbal products 
cure cancer. All right. Um, so this is the thing. There are I've done a number of videos about different um, supplements, uh, herbal things that people have said cure cancer, fix cancer, prevent cancer, etc. Um, basically, though, no herbal products have been shown uh, to treat cancer to date. OK, that's really, really important to keep in mind. And I, I'm saying this sort of with dramatic flair and with a little bit of a pregnant pause because you're going to and I know you see a lot of things out on the Internet. This is going to cure cancer, prevents cancer, this and that. It's herbal. It's natural. It's a, uh -uh. No, we don't have evidence to date that there are herbal products that do this. And I don't want to throw it in the lump of prevent. But I'm not talking about that. I should be very clear and correct myself. I'm talking about cure cancer. Okay. That's specifically what I'm talking about here. There are no herbal products that have been shown to be effective for the treatment of cancer. Those are the words of cancer.gov. And that's exactly what I mean. Now, um, National Cancer um, uh, Institute does go on to say that there are some herbal products that actually may help with the side effects of cancer treatments. Okay. Um, so that's important. Okay. But please understand though, that there are many herbal products that actually can interfere with cancer treatments. Yeah, and I know for those of you who have cancer, who have had cancer, you know that your oncologists, your cancer doctors have told you, hey, there are certain things you cannot eat or should not take um, when you are on cancer treatment, whether it's radiation or chemotherapy. You need to heed that advice. Do not assume because it seems natural that it is automatically safe or effective. That is not the truth necessarily. Okay. I'm not saying that all herbal products are bad. I'm just saying you can't and should not assume that they're all good. All right. And no, we don't have an herbal product that has been proven um, uh, to be uh, a cure or treatment, uh, effective treatment for cancer. Um, I know that's a bit of a Debbie Downer, but it's better to know the facts um, than to to not. Because remember, these things are sometimes not without potential negative side effects. Um, let me know what cancer questions you have. Um, I have some others. I have a list of others uh, that I'm going to do a video on. Um, because I think these are really important things to talk about. These are also things I hear in my practice. People ask me these questions in the office. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, share this video with other people who you think it might be effective or helpful for. Let me know what you know, what you didn't know, what was helpful, what was not. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos, but you guys know that on all sorts of health topics. You name it. Uh, you all are the loves of my life. I'm so grateful that you're with me on this journey. If you're not not, uh, with me on Facebook, please like and follow my page. For those of you who send stars on Facebook to me, thank you so much. YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, guys, go to my website, drjencoddle.com. You can sign up for my free health newsletter. I have a subscription for daily health tips, all sorts of things. Um, guys, I love you. You're amazing. All right, I'll talk to you soon.